A is for ACT. Wales was the first country in Europe to pass an act on nurse staffing, ensuring a legal foundation for providing safe, high quality care for our population. B is for benefits. The act has many benefits for patients, service users and staff. C is for calculation. Health boards are required to calculate a nurse staffing level for each adult, acute, medical and surgical ward and paediatric ward. D is for designated person. The designated person is responsible for calculating the nurse staffing level. E is for empowerment. The Act empowers nurses to ensure they have enough time to care sensitively for patients' needs. F is for funding. NHS bodies allocate funding and resources to ensure appropriate nurse staffing levels. G is for guidance. The statutory guidance and the operational guidance enables health boards and NHS Trust to understand the actions required to meet the requirements of the Nurse Staffing Levels Act. H is for health boards and NHS Trusts. Health boards and NHS Trusts have a legal duty to meet the requirements of the Nurse Staffing Levels Wales Act. I is for informing patients. Health boards are required to inform patients of the new staff and levels on the awards. J is for job satisfaction. The Act will improve job satisfaction for nursing staff. K is for knowledge. Data collected by health boards and the NHS Trust improve their knowledge to inform decisions regarding the deployment of nursing staff and workforce planning. L is for leadership. The Act and its programme of work aims to empower nurses and promote leadership across all levels of the nursing workforce. M is for maintaining nurse staffing levels. Health boards have a duty to take all reasonable steps to maintain the nurse staffing levels. N is for nurses. Nurses contribute to decisions regarding the nurse staffing level. O is for Once for Wales. There's a national agreement for health boards and trusts in Wales to follow the Once for Wales approach. P is for professional judgment. Nurses use their professional judgment to inform the day-to-day -day deployment of nursing staff and the calculation of the nurse staffing level. Q is for quality indicators. Quality indicators are measures of patient well-being which are particularly sensitive to care provided by a nurse. R is for recruitment. The Act will improve staff retention and recruitment. S is for skill mix. Deploying the right number and skill mix of staff will ensure the delivery of effective care to meet the needs of patients. T is for triangulation. Triangulation is the method used to calculate nurse staffing levels, using information about patient acuity, quality indicators and professional judgment. U is for understanding. Through workforce planning, health boards NHS trusts have a greater understanding of the nursing staff levels required to meet the needs of patients. V is for voice. The Act gives nursing staff a stronger voice to ensure that nurse staffing levels are appropriate to meet the needs of patients. W is for Welsh Levels of Care. The Welsh Level of Care is the national tool to measure patient security and dependency. X is for exciting. The programme provides exciting opportunities for nursing teams to become involved in this groundbreaking work. Why is for? Thank you. You can find out more about the All Wales Nurse Staffing Programme by visiting the HEIW website. Z is for zero. Wales is leading the way. There is so much to do and no time to lose. <laughs>